Right, Matt, welcome to Lincoln City. How does it feel to be in the building? Uh, brilliant. I feel really honoured and privileged to be given the opportunity uh, by the club, something I'm very grateful for and um, something I'm very keen to, uh, to pay back and reward the guys who've, who've given me the opportunity to come here. Why was the head coach role here at the Imps something that you wanted to go for? If I'm being honest, I think if you asked any manager who had an interest in coaching to pick a League One club with the right structure, framework, foundations, philosophy, methodology of how they would like to see the game being played and the club being run properly, I think you'd find it very difficult not to pick a club like Lincoln. And I knew that before um, I had an opportunity to talk to the club. So it, it was when the phone call came, it was it was it was certainly a no-brainer to come and speak, but something I was really excited about. Uh, what type of football can supporters expect to see from your side next season? Um, a really attacking brand of football, um, an aggressive team in and out of possession. Um, the club have a clear identity and philosophy of how they see the game being played. Uh, I'm incredibly aligned with that, <laughs> hence why I'm here. So uh, we, we want to continue that and uh, we want to give a brand of football that the club is proud of, that our fans can identify with and, um, and, and make it attractive to all. Uh, could you perhaps run us through a little bit of your coaching journey so far? Yeah, I've been coaching for 10 years now. Um, I, was, I was quite fortunate in my first role. I, I was offered a first team job. Um, but the reason I'm here today and has enabled me to get um, to be a head coach at such a great club, um, I made a very conscious decision that um, I wanted to start again and learn my trade as a coach. Um, Realised that I was at the wrong end of the spectrum coaching as a first team coach, having not coached before. Um, so I went away from first team environment and started working in elite academies to ultimately learn my trade. Um, learn about new philosophies, new ways. Basically went away to, to be a student of the game and uh, through various different roles and various different jobs. Uh, the purpose to do that was to become a head coach at a fantastic club. And thankfully 10 years on, that's where I find myself. Finally for me, how much you're looking forward to really getting stuck in and getting started, particularly in June when the players are back? Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of frustrating that it, it's happened at a period where um, you, all you want to do is get out on the grass, meet the players, uh, meet, the, meet, meet, meet the staff, meet the outer staff, uh, most importantly meet the fans and become part of uh, what a great environment you have. So that side of things <laughs> will be a little bit frustrating, but that time will come. So incredibly excited, but it also gives us an opportunity to carry on uh, the fantastic planning that's been put in place already. So when we do come back on the first day of pre-season, uh, we can hit the ground running.